Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing us how to withdraw from ATM balance after it has been restricted. Um, there are three major reasons why you a person will not be able to withdraw from his uh, card balance from ATM. Uh, the first reason is verification, and then the second reason is unable to move funds. You're trying to withdraw and you're seeing unable to move funds. That's the second reason. Um, thirdly, your account is blocked to secure the ATM community. Those are the three reasons why you cannot move funds. And on these three occasions, there are things that you can do to be able to remove the money from your account. And even for the first one, when it has to do with verification, your account can still be useful or be activated and then you will still be able to use it. Um, so firstly, verification. In ATM, there are three levels of verification. We have the first verification, which is the SMS verification. A message will be sent to your phone having some digits as OTP, which you will use to verify your ATM account. That is the first verification. It allows you to transact with about a thousand dollars, not beyond one thousand dollars. It means that you can add and withdraw one thousand dollars, but you cannot do anything beyond that one thousand dollars. Then your account will be limited and asked to provide an identity card for verification. So the second verification is where you are, you use your identity card to verify. In Nigeria, they were accepting the NIS leave until another point came, they started accepting the NIN improved sleep or digital card. They no longer accept the NIS sleep. And then, totally, so at that verification, you can use $25,000, you can send, add, or withdraw $25,000. Then we, it, it, they got to another stage again, which is the advanced verification. At this level of verification, your account is now unlimited. It is fully verified. You can see my mine is fully do anything, even if it's fifty thousand dollars to hundred to four hundred thousand dollars without limitations. And when it comes to this advanced verification, it is it is ATM that we um, you have to email ATM support that you want to verify. Then they will ask you for a different ID card, different from the one you used for the second identification mm -hmm. verification, which is your first identity card. So that's that. So when you have these um, issues of verification, now the first solution is to try to verify your account. When you're trying to verify your account, there are people who have issues with verifying with the system itself. When you uh, take the snapshot with your card, the front and the back, and it rejects it like two, three times, what you do is to write to the support. You file a ticket here. You go to the support, click on help, then support. Then you submit a ticket with your name on it, and then you click on um, verification that you want to verify your account. And if that option is not there, you can just um, create, yes, is there account verification and tell them you want to verify your account. In a short while, they will message you within 30 minutes to two hours, they will message you telling you what you need to do. And when you are, when you are able to produce the relevant documents, which is your identity card, and then a snapshot with you holding the identity card and um, ATM to be verified. So I can state and then the email that you use with that ATM account, that is what they will require of you and then it will be accepted. Then another thing to do, when you don't have those documents, you can write to them that you don't have those documents. And if your funds are much in there, can be $100 or $200 or more, you can write to them that the, the, you don't have those documents available but you have a trusted friend, they can send the money to I'm going to show us an example of um, someone who whose account was blocked and he had to use my email address to receive his funds. 
So they're going to send that money to the other person's account within five to seven days. You can request for closure of your account or you ask them to send the funds to someone pending when you are able to verify the account and your account will be inactive. Then, unable to move funds. This is a second level. This is second issues why people cannot um, do transactions or withdraw their money from ATM. This problem is caused when there's a transaction that has gone wrong. For instance, um, someone pays you and you're not aware that the person had paid you and the person did not uh, did not confirm set and after a while he emails the media the support team telling them that he paid you and you did not release the AUSD to him they can decide to block your account pending to block your account or restrict your account let's use the word restrict your account that you will not be able to move funds until that issue is resolved and your account will be free again so the best thing to do is to submit a ticket and inside that ticket again we have that inability to move funds and they are going to tell you the reason why you are unable to move funds and from there you can settle those issues uh, you can settle those issues with ATM then thirdly so thirdly um, I want to say this about unable to move on please I would know I would like you to be sincere while you talk with the support unit this uh, ATM support unit seems to dif be different from all that support you've ever met these guys are sincere gentle if you tell them the truth it will help the process of your um, moving your funds easily so give them every necessary details and be done. then the last set of people are those people whose accounts are blocked you know blocked accounts these accounts are blocked for some reasons one we you contravene the policies of ATM. You break the user agreement. Those are the reasons why your ATM account can be blocked. For instance, instead of transacting with ATM, in ATM, you do offline transactions. What do I mean by offline transactions? Some people do transactions on WhatsApp. You don't know who is sending the money to you. You collected the person WhatsApp via any means. You don't know the person sending to you. You don't know the means he got the money into his account, but you receive the money and stuff like that. Especially when the account sending the money into your account is unverified. ATM would like to trace such money and thereby your account may be blocked. And when your account is blocked, when you send them a mail, they will tell you, they will ask you about those transactions, what really happened and all of that. And one thing is this, if they are your friends and yeah, if there's any issue, you can resolve it. I had one of those issues with them. A friend sent some money to me. He got it through his Netella account and when when he sent the money to the person and the person gave him a usd the AUSD that he transferred to me the net seller um collected the money back from the peer that he sent the money to and refunded it back to his account after the guy has confirmed the transaction and he discovered that that my friend sent the money to my own account and so my account was blocked his own account was blocked was uh yeah not blocked unable to move funds because i took that's where transactions so but blocking account is when that contravenes it does it doesn't work with atm policies they will have to verify one of the reasons is this when you have multiple accounts you know some people especially those working with remote tax i would advise you to not have multiple accounts that could tamper with your ATM. 
some people working with realtors could have six seven eight accounts and then with the same name when atm discovers this they are going to definitely block such accounts and ask you to use one when it is two three it is easier to convince them that it was a mistake you want to use just one and they are going to close off their other accounts and send the funds inside those accounts to one account and then you'll be able to use your money so now how do you also solve blocked account you solve them by also submitting by the same step of submitting tickets to atm submit ticket to atm but if you have any questions you felt i've not answered your question on how to remove your money or funds from atm after it has been blocked please comment in the section below and if you want um, you want anybody to tell you how to trade how to withdraw or add you can also see my telegram link below this video click on it and i'll be right there to tell you how to withdraw it's a good time here if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel it will be a good time for you to subscribe like the video and then click on the notification buttons you can also share with friends this is how to make money money machine is there for you thank you see you later